think we're right in the middle of paradise. If you don't believe me, take a look at this. If you want to experience this slice of paradise, then visit Palawan, the fifth largest island and the last frontier of the Philippines. Here you will find Coron, pristine white sand beaches, breathtaking lakes, and hidden lagoons. And today, we will show you where to enjoy all these wonders. Welcome to our houseboat for the next 48 hours. We are floating right in the middle of a lagoon. Oh my god. Seriously guys, I think we're in paradise. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow! You have your own safety box. Okay. You can open your own if you want. You can have your mosquito repellent. You can request a mosquito net if needed. Proceed to the most exciting part here <laughs> in Pauline. Oh, maybe you should go there. <laughs> so? <laughs> here in Pauline Po, we are using a marine toilet. So, how to use it? Just fill it with water, turn this to the left side, and if the water is enough, just close this. Then, <laughs> wow! Bye, salamat! Here we have this floating platform that moves left and right all the time and where we have our dining area where you can dine in a main restaurant which probably will make it sometime later. Here you can just enjoy this magnificent view. Right here it's an outdoor shower. If we stuck on this floating boat, what's our transportation? They actually bring your flippers, the vest and the snorkel right here. And we have our very own kayak that we can paddle with around. We have clouds up there and you can see everything through the water. <laughs> now, I don't feel like I'm in the Philippines. I feel like in, I'm in some exotic land and I don't know where I am. This is something else. Rain or shine, they're here to serve with a smile. Vegetable? Yes, po, vegetable. Mmm. <laughs> and ito? Sinigang. Ah, soup. That's it. Yes, Perfect. Maraming like salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. I never felt truly this free until this moment. see anything in this camera it makes it more exciting hello sir good hello evening. good evening welcome welcome sir so we have a steam lapu lapu which is a grouper in English, and uh, it's actually big enough to be for two or three people, if you ask me. We also got a uh, special dish that's normally Italian. It's coming next. paradises around this paradise <laughs> and we want to see them today is spent exploring the lagoons and with captain neil we 
were so excited about with our uh, tour that we totally forgot to bring any shoes with us. We, we completely <laughs> forgot bringing any. Oh boy. Ahead of us is 367 steps barefoot. I'm out of breath already. And I'm pretty sure we did only about 50 steps. I need a breather. And we reached the top. Yay! <laughs> but I see more stairs now. Oh, it's okay. You can go in. You can't go in there. And we are rewarded with this magnificent view. To complete this trip, we had a few more steps ahead of us. Captain Neil is such a gentleman. He's leading me so I don't slip. The beauty of taking this early tour is just because it's only us and another group of people. So basically we almost have it all for ourselves. One, two, three. <gasps> the water is super clean. You really feel you float in the air. And the rocks formation underneath is just something from a different world. that we just arrived is called Siete Picados, which means seven islands. We just went around all this island. We've seen so diverse of the sea world. Some creatures that I've never seen. They look like they breathe under the water. And I've seen many pirate fish cleaning the dead corals. It's just magic. located in a place called Twin Peaks and it's called that because of this particular peak and also a great snorkeling spot. Ah, this beach is sandwiched in between like two little mountains and one, once you step off the beach it's like kind of you in the jungle. You can see that there are some tribes that own the area. Bye! Actually, they do live here. That's their home. And, so. and they're very sweet and they have some kids. And they keep it clean. Alright, we can go, I guess. So this is what the glass house looks like. So they can see through. These are the other houseboats. Yeah, and there are ones here that are a lot bigger, so you can fit a lot more people. Well, this structure it's operating entirely off the grid. The power gets from the sun. The water is constantly being brought here by the boat. But you're probably questioning what happens to the waste. Well, there's a special boat that comes here and pumps the waste every single day. Then they deliver it three hours away from here to a different island to specially process it. This houseboat is very environmentally friendly. One, two, three. Just want to say that uh, I'm very proud of MJ because I to yesterday, she would not step into the water without her life vest. And look at her right now, so gracefully. I guess that all it takes is to come to a paradise like this to finally learn how to float or swim. Oh, the boat submerged after you came down here. <laughs> I got jokes. And also, it's not easy to understand how to move between the different areas. No? We just had the opportunity to meet the owner of this place and we were pleasantly surprised to find that actually it's not only about the business, but it's about helping the community. And his goal is to hire at least one person from each family from the tribes. That's a huge help because we're talking about those families that have no electricity, have no running water, they have not what we used to have in our daily lives. I'm out of words. It's just so much better to be here and experience it yourself. From being part of something bigger and the warmth of everyone that is in this place. 